three, two, one, go. Thoughts. I mean, wave game cool. It's it's decent. It's, it ain't what it used to be though, but it's it's decent to me. I mean, I feel it's no, it's really not that many people that's original. Everybody doing method videos. Everybody doing this, doing that, brushing video. Everybody doing the same thing. Nobody original. It's just everybody copying off the next person or they just saying what they do, which is not original. I mean, I know what else, what more can you say about ways, but trust me, it's more creative. It's a more, it's always a more creative way to do or present something, so. I mean, that's all I feel that's missing, originality. The secret to my millions of views and just about 13,000 subscribers, my secret is keeping God first and dedication. If you ain't dedicated to this, you ain't gonna get nowhere. So, what, what else can you say? If you ain't dedicated to doing something, if you ain't got a passion for it, you will not succeed at it. Um, let me see, about two years ago, 2011, that's when I won Wave King, I believe, the Wave Builder, July 2012. Ever since then, I'm like, I'm going to be the best at this. Not have the best waves, but I'm going to be the best at this, the best at doing this wave stuff. As in the best in views, the, the best, period. Being a good waver to me, being a good waver is not just about having good waves. So being a good waver is about having good videos, having good waves, having an audience. That's what being a great waver is about. Doing your own videos, doing your own hair. That's a great waver to me. So that's how I stay. That's how. That's my secret to success. Being different being dedicated and keep the God first.
Nah, I wasn't aware. I wasn't, I didn't see that coming. You know why? Because I don't really participate in wave competitions and stuff like that. But I am active making videos to help people. So I would rather help people than compete against other waves. I mean, that's all fun though. Don't get me wrong, but I just rather make videos and help people out as much as I can. Because that's what it's about. So that's pretty much it with that one. The biggest thing I learned in watching veteran waivers or any type of waiver period, I just want to be different, basically. That's the main thing. When I first came out in the wave game, let me see, what, 2011? Something like that. Start out on the wave builder page. I'm like, let me start posting pictures. Hey, man, Sir Cruz, who was this dude? I just wanted to be different. Started making, then people like, hey, man, you should start making videos. Then, so I made one video. I made this egg method video. It was a, a um, it was just a joke video. Then ever since then, I blew up for some reason. Off that one video, everything, my whole wave life changed after that. I won Wave King, then I won Wave of the Week. I just I was just getting all these hits and views everywhere. And so that's basically what I learned is I want to be different from everybody else. I don't want to be like nobody else. I respect everybody else, but I don't want to be the same as nobody. I don't want to be categorized with nobody, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with that in my opinion. Ain't nothing wrong with that, so yeah. LHDC basically, loyalty, dedication, hard work, and consistency. If you got all that intact, then you should be good. If you follow on that, you'll, get, you'll be able to get waves and as fast as you want to get them. But if you you slacking, you brushing once a day, you ain't keeping up with it, then you really not going to be successful. That's with anything in life. Stay at it. Stay humble. For a rookie, beginner, stay at it. Keep brushing. It's a lot of, it's a lot of resources out there on, on YouTube. Wave videos. Me, example. I've got the videos you need. Other waves got the videos you need. So, it's broken down on my channel. All you got to do is go to it. Go to my wave playlist. My biggest inspirations are basically my parents, you know. I'm real close to them. Nobody else inspires me like they do. And then besides them, myself, I inspire myself just as much. <laughs> so it's like, in the end, it's my decision to do what I want to do. They can teach me, motivate me, guide me. But in the end, it's my decision. No matter how old you are, your parents are going to guide you to the end. They'll tell you what they think in their opinion to the end. So, like I say, they might, I, I'm very highly inspired by them with everything I do. I want to be the best at whatever I do, whatever I pursue. Yeah, so, I mean, I've been working hard at it. Hopefully, I'll be graduating next year. I mean, it ain't no easy task. Working with computers, working on computers, anything with computers, it is not an easy task at all. I've been through some stuff with that, but it's not easy. Nothing in life is easy if it's work. If it's the, the reward in the end, it's not it's gonna always be a, a road to it. It's not. It's not gonna be a straight path. You go have roadblocks, everything. It's not easy. So that's what. It, that's what I have to learn and understand. Now, in the next five years, I want to be a computer engineer and I want to be a barber too. So then I was thinking about photography. I just want to do too much. I mean, is it a such thing as want to do too much? I don't think so. But I want to do a lot of stuff for my life. You no, know, life is short. I mean, I want to do as much as I can. You never know. So, I just want to be somebody.
want to be different from everybody else. 